Hi, this is Sandy with Global Mana. We recently sat down with Mike Hart, CEO of Sierra Energy in Davis, California, to find out how his company is turning waste into energy. I'm Mike Hart. I'm the CEO of Davis-based Sierra Energy. Uh, we're focused on reducing greenhouse gas by converting waste to clean energy. The fundamental of our technology, it's a blast furnace. It's the oldest piece of industrial technology that mankind really has. It was developed at Kaiser Steel in the, the last days of a blast furnace facility. The guys who were cleaning up the facility and getting rid of it, basically, they started throwing all of the scraps and everything else into the blast furnace to create more clean metal. And they realized that the blast furnace really is a gasifier. It's just a lousy one. For every ton of hot metal that comes out of the bottom of a blast furnace, you create about eight tons of gas coming out of the top. And most of that gas is just really junky pollution. The reason why is that a blast furnace is driven by air. You're blasting air into the bottom of the blast furnace where the small amount that's oxygen reacts with the carbon that's in the coke and such going into there. But 80% of air is nitrogen, which is just in the way. Instead of blasting in air, we inject oxygen and then we regulate it with a bit of steam. By doing that, you dramatically reduce the volume of the gas coming out of the blast furnace and you end up with medium BTU synthesis gas. Synthesis gas is, in our case, about 70% carbon monoxide, CO, which is actually a very potent fuel, and 30% hydrogen. Hydrogen is an incredibly powerful fuel and so you have these two together. In that ratio, you can use it to make liquid fuels like diesel, you can make ethanol, you can make fertilizer, or you can simply take that renewable hydrogen and power zero emission cars, fuel cell vehicles that are already on the market today. We take our gasifier and what you do is you introduce garbage into the system. We don't need it to be dried, we don't need it to be sorted, we don't need anything like that. Recycle whatever makes sense for the community, whatever's left over. Shred it enough to fit into the gasifier, feed it in. At the bottom, we're injecting oxygen. The reaction of the carbon that's in the garbage with the oxygen creates this very high heat. It's about a 4,000 degree Fahrenheit reaction. At that temperature, everything breaks down. It's molecular recycling. Whatever waste you put in the top looks the same to the gasifier. There's only three things, metals, ash, and carbon. Now, if you're running a pyrolysis system, that's pretty much where you stop. You've got your carbon and then you pull that out and try to figure out what to do with it. In our case, it continues to flow through with gravity. This is where the actual gasification takes place. This is where the oxygen hits the carbon. That creates that very high 4,000 degree Fahrenheit heat. At that temperature, the inorganic solids, or ash, melts. It liquefies, as well as the metal melts, liquefies, and reports out. It's a blast furnace. It's designed to recover slag and metal. That's what they're designed to do. The gas coming out through the system basically then goes through a seven stage gas cleaning process. What you have coming out is a gas cleaner than natural gas. By putting in this oxygen, it means that your residence time, the amount of time that waste lasts within the system is only about 20 minutes. In fact, that's where the name Fastox came from, fast oxygen. The gasifier actually generates all of its own energy. And so that means you don't need any external energy to run the process. It's driven entirely by the energy content of the waste coming into the system. So it's running continuously for years. Our system is computer controlled, and what it does is it allows us to control the amount of steam that's coming in, the amount of oxygen, and it allows us to balance what kind of gas exactly is coming out of the gasifier. Because one of the problems is that we're talking about garbage. Everything is in garbage. Stuff you would never even think of is in there. And so you need the computer to basically monitor all the different moisture contents that are changing, the calorific value of the waste is changing, and so it needs to adjust constantly with thousands of calculations a second to make sure it's staying on top of it to end up with that very good quality medium BTU and gas coming out of the gasifier. And so you really have 100% recycling by using the Fastox technology from Sierra Energy.